Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pollock's YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pollock Association. And this morning, we're going to talk a little bit about AN bolts. Now, AN, Army, Navy, and the bolts. So when you have an AN3, the, the number first behind the AN3, uh, is in this case, the AN3, is it's 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. And AN4 is 4 sixteenths, or a quarter inch. Same thing for... 5 sixteenths it's a 5 sixteenths bolt and so we would like to ask you please subscribe hit the like button and hit the notify to stay current with our content and then the second number the dash number behind it is like in this case 42 a that means it's 42 eighths of an inch long uh, so that you'll notice that these racks from Harbor Freight are really nice because you have an A in 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Well, to be a 38, it would be a 40. So the length is in eighths of an inch, the diameter is in sixteenths. The A simply stands for the bolt threads are not drilled. If there's an H, the head is drilled. If there's no A, then the threads are drilled for a cotter pin. So that's a real quick look at A and bolts and we'll be having another video coming out on the washers and the nuts uh, subsequently. So we hope you found this informative, taking some of the confusion out of AN hardware. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman. They come in a variety of sizes. Um, there's a series like an AN365. That's a nylon or elastic nut washer. We have them all over the airplane. It doesn't matter what color the elastic is. And this is green, the nylon. These are yellow. But this is a full height AN365. And then the dash number is 1032. Now the 1032 means it's for 1032 threads or an AN3. And the A means the nut is not drilled. Here we have the same nut AN365C1032. And I don't have the A on the end of that one. But what that means is this is a stainless steel elastic nut. Finally, we have a, an AN364, which is a low profile nut. Uh, these are used in a couple places on the airplane. And then finally, we have a 363, which is a solid steel lock nut. And this is what you use on exhaust systems. You can't use anything with the nylon because the heat would melt it. And then we have some specialty nuts, the MS. 21042-3 which is for the AN3s and these are the low profile Kyle nuts. The dash number I can hear AN365-428 that's a number an AN4 bolt that's an AN4 28 threads per inch 524 threads per inch and then over here same thing on the sixes we have the 624 uh, 24 threads per inch on a number six. So that's basically how the nuts run across the board. So you can specify what kind of nut you want, what threads you want, and whether the nut is drilled or not. And this morning I'm going to talk a little bit more about AN hardware, specifically the washers, the AN washers, and the MS stars. Now, there are two types of star washers. The most prevalent that we use on our airplanes are what's called an inside star. These are the MS35333 series, and they, they have an unusual numbering system. Uh, we use them from number 37, 38, 39. This one happens to be a 40. It goes on a number 4 nut. The uh, number 41 goes on a number 5, and finally on a very rare ones, uh, a number a dash 6. Uh, 42, sorry, this goes on a number 6 bolt. So that's the star washers. And then washers come in a variety of sizes. There's first, there's the normal washer, which is just a dash, whatever the number is. And then if after the number there's an L, then it's a thin washer. And I'll hold them up side by side, and you can see, let me find them in the viewfinder, you can see that there's a little bit of difference in there. And these are normally used for clocking to get a cotter pin or, or a, a clevis bolt in at the right torque. These come in a variety of sizes. This one happens to be uh, an AN960-416, and that stands for 416, so that goes on quarter-inch hardware, and this is a 416L. That's an AN960-416L. So that when you have an AN516 washer, it's 516 bolt, 
that's an A and 5 bolt. So that's just a little bit of the numbering. They come in a variety of sizes. We have this big bin that we bought from a supplier years ago. We keep it stocked full with all the hardware we need. So I hope that takes a little bit of the confusion. The only thing different, when you get below the number, uh, the A and 4 bolts, you get into the A and 3s, and that's dash 10 hardware. So this is a 10L, a 10, an 8, a 6, and a 4. So they come in a wide variety of sizes. And another in the hardware series, uh, one other piece of hardware we need to talk about before we get into some of the more complicated pieces like rivets, are the AN970 series or large area washers. You use these when you have to go through some structure and you need a lot of surface area to spread the load out over the aircraft structure. This is an AN970-3, the most common one we use on our airplanes. And this is for AN3 hardware, the dash 4, number 4, and you can figure out where the 5, 6, and the 7 goes. Sevens and eights are normally used on motor mounts. These are our shims that shim the motor mount. You don't need a lot of these. We don't have a lot of big hardware on our airplanes. But we just wanted to briefly touch the AN 970 series so people know what they are. You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just picking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.